All right, nerd funnelers, we're back. We're playing the scariest of all games. Scariest Russian. of all games, really? I don't know. Well, Russian horror stories are pretty scary. Uh, we have never looked at this before. Um, okay, so that's save load. This is our first time. We can change the language to Russian. You want me to talk like this for the rest of the show? I can talk like this for the now rest of the show. Now you have to just switch back and forth. Now I have to switch back and forth. Okay, I will talk like this when the American words are up. And All right. I, I just want to throw it out there. This is Ivan, by the way, and I hate scary games. And this is Russian Bob Shway, Bob Shway, and I love scary games. Scary game to me. In, in, in Soviet Russia, uh, a horror game horrors you. This is the type of horror game that I'm down with. Here we go. There we go. Okay, now we go inside. I politely say goodbye to my student. I am actually quite nice when I'm not ill and closed all the locks on my front door. It was heavy metal and pick proof. The first thing I bought at the new place. I don't really like this part of town, so I have to make my home my castle. So this basically is like a uh, a Japanese uh, arrow game, right? A basic base, yeah, basically, uh, except in Russian. It's not really in the farthest suburb of Moscow, but the houses look like they're from rough quarter of some country town. The residents weren't any less depressing either. It was like I went back to the tumultuous 90s when the wall came down. Yeah, that, that, it's it was a bad time when uh, apparently the bloating. Uh, carcass that was the Soviet Union finally came to die. Well, when you put it like this, yes, I prefer to think of it as uh, high power restructuring of, of, of Soviet country. But some time ago, my parents fell for cheap housing. Look, I have red shirt. We are still pr uh, proudly showing red. Proudly communist in Russia. So now, on my return trip to motherland from small European country, I moved to this dump. I think, uh, the state provided you this. <laughs> it's good I come in summer because in winter it can get very depressing. Indeed, motherland was in was dull in comparison. But who said I couldn't de decorate to my almost European taste? No one, not Soviet Russians. They no longer tell me how to decorate. I am free in capitalist society, except laziness and low income. Then again, I have not that lazy. I already started working on the income part. I found some students and started tutoring. A good private tutor can be well off in Moscow. That's good to know, actually. <laughs> Thinking about a career change? Oh, maybe. I can, I, can, I can teach some English. I give today's student a practice exam instead of regular lessons. The, the butt lessons? The, 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 butt, the butt lessons. He failed miserably, but I didn't let him get too upset and started to explain. You have to relax and use more of the lips. <laughs> Relax the throat. First of all, he should be happy that oh, he wasn't the real exam. If this was the real exam, you would be bruised. So far, I must say this is horrific gameplay. Second of all, now I can clearly see what he needs to be taught and can make adjustments to plans of following lessons. And to top it this off, I didn't say this aloud. I didn't expect anything else of typical modern students, schools graduate. The thought of our reformed education made me grind my teeth and start swearing. Non-Soviet education? How could they turn the world's best schools into factories producing new generations of capitalist idiots? Oh, I'm sorry, am I editing as I go? When I was looking for students to tutor, I stopped by prep courses at universities and posed as undergraduate applicant. Why not? I look young. It's easy to get lost in crowd of potential clients. I, I'm, I'm sure people appreciate that you're giving the American commentary. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get an accurate cross-sectional perspective. <laughs> I went into the wrong classroom once and ended up joining a history class where one bright girl told us that Lenin was a czar. Ha, 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 ha. The scariest part was that only two people laughed, me and the teacher. Don't even get me started on my majors, math and physics. Oh, the horror there. The actual Russian horror. The actual Russian horror is math physics. Although, they're not that bad, I guess. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, famous Russian scientists that discovered shit, right? Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. Pavlov, right? Yeah. And he rang a bell. He rang a bell. And got Pavlov rings a bell. However, it is not that easy to destroy a whole nation's ability to think. There will always be people who want to learn but just need help. I hope to be aiding that noble cause. Is there any teaching the great, great, great... Lectures of Lenin <laughs> and Stalin and Khrushchev. Humans are capable of anything, especially using the magic of redecoration to turn a crappy old apartment into a decent place for a young family. I might not be a magician yet, but I am on the right track. 
This this looks like it's been made on all like Flash. Yeah, this like is one hundred percent Flash game. What happens if I'm not specialist? I'm quite capable of hiring a couple of Europeans from Moldova and Ukraine for European style home improvement of making sure that they make a nice home for me and my wife. Well, at least he's. We know that he's married and not just some creepy dude who lives by himself. Yeah, because married dudes in Russia are never creepy. <laughs> no, they're they're. I'm sure they turn into. Babushkas. But, 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 but they, I'm sure the, the man turned into to, to very healthy, well-adjusted, loving husbands that age gracefully and take care of their wives. With red eyes and pale blue skin. Exactly. Yes. Which reminds me, it's time to call my sweetie and tell her that she can move in with me soon. She could have lived with me now, but Moscow hotels and rental apartments are a nightmare. With all that spending, it would be impossible to save up for an elevation. You know, Moscow real estate is really freaking expensive. It's like impossible to live there now. Oh, I believe that. Yeah, it's like ridiculous. Apparently because it's... All the, uh, Oil oligarchs still live there. Yeah, buy up all that uh, the, real estate. Yeah, and then they 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 price people out of it. It's ridiculous. Uh, what I can live among buildings. So supplies. basically, every other big American town. Pretty much. They're, what is Russian for gentrification? I do not know. Gentrification. Gentrification. Do we have any other options besides click to next text? Nope. No. Moreover, Workle's fragile psyche will get less damage from seeing the boss in his underpants than it would from seeing half the rest young beauty. Uh, Russia is famous for that. I wonder how she's doing. Why don't I call her now and find out? Okay, let's see some flash action. I do not know why, but I was talking to my wife to not improve my mood. Who knows we had such strong connection? It's like some, like in some chiclet. Chiclet, not Russian expression. I felt depressed up to the point of getting drunk, nestling in someone's shoulder and scalding it with my hot tears. Oh, now we're getting to horror. So this of Russia. is basically what what we're experiencing is existential horror. It's an existen it's an existential visual Russian novel. It's like trying to be Yeah, it's interesting. Although I'm I'm impressed by the fact that there are barbells in the Russian apartment, even though it's a crappy shithole, you have to lift weights when you're in Russia. That's good to know. Everybody needs You have to, to work off that vodka somehow. Yeah, everybody needs to be training to beat Rocky. I must break you. <laughs> the problem is I don't drink. What? Okay, now I don't believe this. Now he just broke the fourth wall on me. Yeah, this this is That's clearly just, not a Russian dude. A Russian did not write this. The problem is I don't drink. I don't have any friends with waterproof shoulders in Moscow. And I think he did say he's 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 like European uh born, well, European raised. European raised, raised yeah. There was also the option of zoning out in front of idiot box, but I have even less respect for TV than alcohol. Wow, this guy is harsh. He's 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 kind of pretentious. A bowl of steaming shit has more truth in it. It also causes less brain damage than radiation from all the television towers encrusting our giant inhabited island. Whoa. This is... This is getting morose. Speaking of that <laughs> island, I recently ran into two schoolboys in the metro, both about 10 years old. One of the asked the other in astonishment, is the earth really round? Well, after his friend's informative response, he pointed at the sky. Does that mean that there are people up there too? His response is going to be, no. No. We're alone and life is pointless. I laughed then, but now it made me even sadder. What's wrong with this glorious country and these wonderful people? What are we coming to? What are we turning into? And on that not so cheerful thought, I started falling asleep, chanting, "It's going to be all right," like a mantra. I, I take it back. I completely am convinced he's Russian now, because <laughs> this—I feel like this encapsulates the the so-called Russian soul, the Russian experience. The like, there's a the idea of the Russian sh soul is that in the it is indomitable, even though it's like uh, filled with. Existential sadness. This existential crises of the of of the pointless and uh, the pointlessness of existence. Yeah, but look there's it still up on this, Wikipedia. There's this like somehow this redeeming hope deep buried deep under the snow of the Russian soul. Huh. Oh my god! A female shriek came from the next room. A dreadful scheme full of pain and despair. She must not be enjoying her existence either. No, she's having existential nightmare. I jumped out of bed like it was on fire. What the? I thought I was alone. My hair stood on end. I never thought this phrase was so accurate. I tried to pull myself together and forcefully exhaled a couple times. I... Calm down, Ivan. I'm calm. Ivan. God, God damn it. <laughs> Whoa, we have name. It's actually Ivan. Be rational. There's no such thing as ghost. You're a grown man. What do people do in situations? See, this game is scary. It's calling you, it's calling you out. 
You said you were afraid of it I already, and it's like calling you by name, man. Damn, dude. I'm just... I can't. What do people do in situations like this? Oh, I remember. They go check on what's going on. That's exactly what gets them killed in horror films. See, at least he has... He's maintaining his, like, fatalistic sense of humor. Yep. Voice. Now I'm gonna have your other arm. Holy crap. Do I have evil ghost in there? Finally, I managed to get a grip on myself, wipe the sweat off my forehead, and open the next room's door. I'm just now realizing that my Russian accent is Ivan's inner monologue. Empty, but someone, someone, some, someone, someone, typo, voice came from somewhere below again. Simone's. 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 Simone's voice. So I guess that's the name of the ghost. Yeah. Breeze, put your hand behind your head. This is the FBI in oh. Russia. <laughs> Damn it. It's the neighbors watching TV on maximum volume. The trembling wouldn't stop. I even came up to the mirror and checked for new gray strands in hair. Seemingly, there weren't any. My t-shirt was stuck to my back. Ha, oh, sir, you are a coward. Aww. Game... If you think about that, hearing female death cries from next room when you're home alone is enough to justify the pile of bricks. What, what pile of bricks? Enough. Sleep, sleep, sleep. They must be kidding. Apparently, they've added even more volume. I grabbed a screwdriver and pounded the, the battery. Come on, people. You are not alone in this building. The it's battery. almost the battery. The, is there like a house battery? I don't know. I've I've not lived in Eastern Bloc countries, so I'm not I, familiar. Is there with one the... like it's like a, like a nine volt that powers the whole building? Wow, that's awesome. That's wow. how they do it in Russia. They gotta conserve power. They are a very uh, uh, resourceful people. Resourceful people. They have to be under all that snow. I'll break screwdriver if I keep this up in vain for nothing. No reaction. I stomped and jump on floor a little bit, then I try pounding on the floor with stool. And I think I hear some noise. They can't be serious. They hit the battery so I would stop making noise. I'm the one making noise? That's it. This is outrageous. I threw on shirt and headed towards the front door. Time to meet my downstairs neighbors. Uh oh. Dealing with people. This is the true Russian horror. <laughs> Dealing with neighbors. True horror. I walked downstairs and faced the door of my noise neighbors. Looks flimsy. The light is dim. It is imprinted with someone's dirty fingers and fly butts. Fly butts? Cigarette butts? Cigarette butts? Anyway, I'm not here to read book. The decorations are good enough to have an argument. This guy's really obsessed on home decoration. I filled my lungs with air, reached for a doorbell, and exhale. No doorbell. Only two bare old wire wires. Of course. Why fix the doorbell if you can just throw it away? Let the guests connect wires. Too bad I didn't think of bringing my rubber gloves. Wow. I touched the wire. It was so dirty that once more I regretted not bringing gloves. The unpleasant doorbell sounded behind the door. And gunshots must be FBI. I had to connect the wires twice more, and only then did I hear someone shuffling behind the door. The Judas hole? Is that what it's called? Blurred yeah, like the hole. eye of a boiled perch when dark. Judas hole. Who? Your damn neighbor. Then I realized that the voice behind the door was elderly and regretted being so harsh. I'm from upstairs apartment, here to introduce myself. I'm Ivan. I heard creaking sound which made me imagine someone unfolding a drawbridge to crush me. I even stepped back as if the door could really fall on me. Is this the battery on the side with the triangle? I guess. Clicking ended with a click. Damn, that lock is old. Probably as old as apartment's owner. Ah, ah, ah. Oh my goodness. A crack appeared in the door. Just enough for old lady in most unkempt clothes to see me. Hello? What do you want? Sounds Mexican. <laughs> Hola? Hello. Hello, I am your neighbor from upstairs. Ivan Namov. And I... Namov? Are you relatives living in this house? I don't know how to sound like an old Hispanic lady. You're doing a good job, is I that, think. Is this how your tita sounds, huh? Yeah, it's, it's how my, my tita sounds a little bit. Yeah, it's mine. Those were actually the relatives that recommended this cheap housing to my parents. May I ask you a favor? Would it be too much trouble for you to turn down the television? Yeah, 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 of course. Uh, uh, we'll do. And slammed the door. Despite that rude gesture of hers, I felt much better. When I was stepping into my apartment, even I thought, be nice to people and they will... I've been shot! That damn nigger put the bullet in me! Oh my goodness, we have N-word in... Oh, they will ignore you. I was still hoping that Granny hadn't reached the TV yet to turn down the volume. There she is walking down the corridor, scraping the linoleum with her brown felt slippers and holding to the stained brown wallpaper. Why do I think everything is brown? Walking, walking... 
How much longer can I take? Leave me, partner. Save yourself. Maybe she decided to drop by the bathroom on the way. Wait, why am I going like Jamaican now? Like one Russian comedian say, being old is when you bend down to tie your shoelaces and try to think of what else you can do when you're down there. What? I'll shoot your ah! All right, so old lady peed and decided to poop and read the f f and read the air freshener. Studied every number on the barcode and an open rolled toilet paper. Went back to air freshener to compare Kazakh text to Russian. Nah, old ladies probably don't do that. They don't have the eyesight for it. What is it they do then? Wow, this guy's getting really depressing. I'll avenge you, brother. Looks like they sleep, and there's no better lullaby for old ladies than screams of foreign policemen. Like Law and Order SVU. Yeah. When old people will fall asleep Ooh. watching that. Now I thought that I heard rain. Was I right about bathroom? Or am I lying to myself? I'll rip your heart out through your ass. Shit, that sounds serious. I wonder how our granny is doing. I hope she didn't accidentally rip something out of herself. This is getting vulgar. I went to another room, then the bathroom, and finally went to the kitchen. Thank God, at least here I can hear the can't hear screams. I brewed some green tea, waited, poured the bitter part, and made it again. Now I can drink it with cookies in peace and quiet. There now, I've had enough tea, and I'm stuffed with cookies. Time to go back to bed. Twinkle. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Great. Now I have to listen to lullabies every night? No way. I went downstairs and connected wires. Who? Oh. She can't see me in Judas Hole, or is she sclerotic? Probably forgot about our conversation. That must be why she did not turn sclerosis. the volume down. Is that like psychosclerosis or something? I do not know. It's Ivan. From upstairs? So she remembers. Could you do me a favor and turn down television? Would that cause you too much trouble? Yeah, 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 of course, I'll do it. I went home with strong feeling of deja vu. I've been shot! What's this, Groundhog Day? Okay. Russian definitely didn't write this. I went straight to kitchen and reached for tea. Green tea always calmed me, but today it would not work for some reason. Yellow slush beer is made with only natural ingredients. So I've heard. Plug tampons will give you the freedom of movement for the whole day, especially when you're bleeding out of your gash. <laughs> yeah, yeah, now I know what's keeping you from moving. The president of Rolandia talked to the president of Krakozoia. Krakozia? Krakoja. Krakoja. Shirt sleeve meeting. At a shirt sleeve meeting? I'm not familiar with term terminology I, that, of this. Is that where everybody only wears shirt sleeves? And not and like, not actual and not shirts. It's Whoa! Like, it's just shirt sleeves. That and sounds so. Comes with like bare chest. That sounds so anime. Well, at least it wasn't punt sleeve. Whoa! Oh, we got some nice music in the background now. In these weeks or months, how long has it been nightmare going on? Seems like forever. I've turned into guy that talks to the TV. The only difference is I don't even have TV. Ah ah ah! But that's okay. I have neighbors downstairs. They always help out and make their TV loud enough for me to anywhere in the apartment. See now he's looking on the bright side. Tutoring is getting worse and worse. My students are close to leaving me because it's impossible to work in these conditions. I don't even get enough sleep. I'm early bird and my zombie neighbors are from the look of it night owls. Relatives told me that Granny has a bull's head son which brings home hoodlums and they drink together. Turned out he's going to be bothering me soon like the old woman wasn't enough. Nothing helped. Even stopped going downstairs to talk to them. I just called their landline and asked them to stop ruining my life. The old man's son, Valentin, picked up the other day. He barked and spit into the receiver. All I could understand was swearing, so I put the phone down and see that meaningful conversation was not going to happen. Who just spits into the receiver of a phone? That just seems like it's going to like short out your microphone at some point in time. He's probably just super drunk. He couldn't call back. Their home phone doesn't show my mobile number, judging by the ringing. Sometimes I hear from downstairs their phones with rotary dial. Yeah, now we know we're back in Soviet Russia after doing the round rotary phone. My phone calls him to upset Valentin because TV immediately gets louder than usual. Ah, yes. Oh. The horror. The horror. The absolute The horror, horror of loud TVs and old ladies. So let's continue this, uh, this we will horrifying story of Russian uh, domestic uh, uh, dispute. Next time in Soviet Russia, not for no place. You can't win them all, but we must look on bright side because there is another dawn, a red dawn, coming. 
The red donut's always coming. Avenge me! Avenge me!